Again, looking for the feet constantly moving, wow. getting himself in a position. Pick on the backhand. Yeah, good jam. Real nice pick. This young man's only a Should freshman, a too. Roller. Only a freshman. Yeah, anything else you're looking for in particular? Yeah, we'll see what, what we can do in here to make uh, oh, good armor. The, the, the player should realize this. A little tidbit of information. When it, he should be in his ready position now. As coach tosses the ball, see how he tossed the ball? Mm -hmm. He should be doing his prep step and moving in, moving at that time. Let the ball sit to your backhand or glove side. You can move a lot more efficiently. And that makes you look better to the college coaches too. Instead of just standing there, balls hit, then you go and react to it. So as soon as he's, he's here, he tosses the ball, you start doing your prep step and, and adjust to where the ball's going to go. That's a good play. Almost as if the pitcher's in motion. Absolutely. So when the pitcher's Correct. going yep. right, that's when, the, yep. that's when you're Same moving. Same thing here, yep. yep. Play a little bit well, once coach. again, Once again, you're, doing, you're being a little bit more realistic. Yep. Cause if the ball is hitting, it's on its way, and you're just starting to move a little bit too late for that. But they're the things you have to talk to kids about and why they have to do it and why you want to do it to get a little bit better. First baseman picking the ball nicely over here. Good for the thick flexing glass. <laughs> oh man's got a good arm. Yes, sure it stops. Gets it out quickly. First baseman's getting a workout. Good soft hands. Finish up with a slow roller. Yeah, good work. There's an important fact, too. You just said it about a couple seconds ago. I mean, it's good if you're a shortstop and you have a real good, strong arm. But you know what? If you've got a good, good, good hands and a good release, you're still going to get an awful lot of guys out. Yep. Just get the ball there quickly. The, the strong arm is obviously an extra advantage, but obviously yep. the quick release is just as important. We had a kid at Vine, a little Spanish kid, when I was there, and our infield coach, Cruz Gomez, one of the best young guys you ever meet, took our average shortstop, turned him into an excellent shortstop just by quick hands, quick release. Just get in, in and out as quickly as you can. Probably shouldn't say that Vine thing on TV, should I? That's all right. That'll, that's we're, what, we're that'll work. TV, that'll work. Okay. That'll work. It'll be edited 
out. You're okay. <laughs> I don't know. Ask my wife. See if she'll tell you I'm okay. I'll tell you a thought when we're uh, when we're breaking for the pitchers too, because the disclaimer won't help me out with this one. Okay, I got you. God, we don't have that on TV. What's that? We can't hear anything. See, that's where young kids got to learn, too, and then you should probably edit this. That's where when a coach asks you, want another one? You definitely say you yes. Take it. You take you definitely it. say yes. Sure. Or you say, how about two? <laughs> Not, uh, uh, okay. I'll stay here all day. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Let me think about it. Told I told uh, told Doug too that uh, Gallagher texted me. Mm -hmm. Told him really did a good job. He liked it. There you go. Nice quick release there. Nope. Oh. Could have hands by the second first baseman. <laughs> Does have nice footwork. Feet are constantly moving. See on that pitch right there, he probably he pretty much did what I just told you. His feet were moving because like, the ball was in the mm -hmm. see his feet were moving, the ball's in the air. Right. He's already moving. Working on his prep step. Yep. The live feet give you a better opportunity yep. to get Hold yourself in a position. Better, better yep. hope, better yep. opportunity, especially yep. for a bad hop. Yep. Case, case of trying to overthrow right now. There's a nice, nice work there. Gets himself in a nice position to be He's able to kind of yep. Yep. get the ball quickly out of his glove, go across the Pick, diamond. Had a boy, good job.
always more infielders than anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> always more infielders, always. First baseman doing a nice job over Base there. Base over, yep. Yeah. Young man gets the ball out He's of the score quickly. Yes, he does. Yep. Yeah, real That's nice. Nice job there, yep. Real nice. Good short up on the back yep. end. Yep. He put himself in a good position to make that play, too. Mm-hmm. That's key right there, especially on that slow roller taking away from first base. Yep. Even if you have to one hop it, yep. it's still an effective it's throw. Still, yes, it is. But you have to be able to buy into that, though. And a lot of young guys can't buy into that because it's like taking away their masculinity because they're not thrown all the way through to, through the first base. Especially if you have a good field. I'll tell you, if you play high school baseball and play on Astro Turf, play on turf. You can work on good one hop throws all day long. Yeah, it's easy for the first baseman to pick, too. Yep. So you're not throwing it wide. You're not throwing it high. You're throwing a nice one hopper. It's still effective. Just get it in the vicinity, and yep. he'll do the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Decided to slide just a little bit too early. Nice work. Pick, he's deep in the nice hole. Pick, yeah. yeah. Not only that, but he's pretty deep in the hole. And there's that one hopper. It works. You're good. Yep. Thank you. Not a boy. <laughs> nice work to get Not himself in a position right to throw the baseball. Good, good position for that yeah. one. That's why if you work on this drill not flat footed, you always get yourself in a good mm -hmm. position to feel the ball mm -hmm. and especially turn a turn a bad bounce in to a good bounce for you because you're moving around. This kid was a catcher too, I think, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Frankie yep. Sant Sebastiano, yep. Yep. Showing some versatility. <laughs> Coaches like to see that too, right? You're not just yes, stuck in do. one position. Yeah, yep. no, you don't want to pigeonhole yep. yourself yep. at this young age, even though sometimes they want to pigeonhole themselves. 
I'm just a shortstop. I'm just a pitcher. I'm just a catcher. Now, when you're giving that college coach the opportunity to put you in multiple positions, makes his job. Good, 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 good college coach. Easier, good college coaches look for athletes. Mm -hmm. Good look for athletes. Footwork. Yep. Nice footwork. That'll do it for the shortstop position. Going to get a good look at the first baseman. And footwork is key yep, and how they turn and pivot. Footwork. Yep. yep. Obviously, that turning your back to the pitcher is, yep, is key. You don't want to try to – because that timing piece, if they're turning the opposite way <laughs> – Got a little familiarity with it since my son played first and outfield, yep. too. Well, the important thing to remember here, too, in a real game is first baseman, just make the play, get the ball to second. Anything else happens, that's okay. If you just get the guy at second, nobody can ever score. A lot of times they try to do too much, and the ball ends up out in left center. I get that lead runner. And get, get, get the guy in front. play most of the guys in the bigs hate making. Say again? I'll play most guys in the bigs hate making that play. <laughs> hate throwing that ball to third base. <laughs> okay. Why is that? How many times did he make a throw 127 feet, three and three inches? How many times did he do that? That's Not a long very throw. often. No, it's it, a is. Long throw. it is a long throw. Typically, your first baseman do not need strong arms because they're just and, receiving the baseball and, for the and, most part. And in high school, most first basemen are left-handed. And right. that's just a very hard throw for them to make because they'll get it down here and it's going all over the place. Yeah, left-handed first baseman definitely have an advantage. They don't have to make that full turn when they're receiving the baseball and making that throw at second. <laughs> 